This is briefing number two for our heavy rain potential for the weekend of June 20th and 21st, 2015. I'm Morning Coordination Meteorologist Dave Nicosia from the National Weather Service in Binghamton. Some of the impacts that we expect this weekend Showers and thunderstorms, once again, are expected to develop, especially late Saturday and Saturday night. Uh, most of the rainfall is not expected to be heavy enough to cause major flooding, but we are expecting some minor flooding in our more typical flood-prone areas. The good news is the remnants of Tropical Storm Bill are expected to stay south of the region. More showers and thunderstorms again are expected during the day Sunday. And again, these thunderstorms could produce locally heavy rainfall and minor flooding. The atmosphere has a lot of moisture in it. So any thunderstorm that develops in this very moist atmosphere will have the potential to produce at least minor flooding. There is really only a small chance of major flash flooding this weekend, especially since the deeper tropical moisture from bill is expected to remain south of the region and lake levels along Cayuga Lake and the Seneca River are projected to remain steady through the weekend. This is the radar as of 2.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Friday and you'll note that the remnants of Tropical Storm Bill are over southeast Missouri and they're expected to track east-northeast uh, across the lower Ohio Valley into the mid-Atlantic states and stay mainly south of northeast Pennsylvania and central New York. We expect a frontal system to push south from Canada and the atmosphere is very moist over New York and Pennsylvania and this frontal system is expected to develop some showers and thunderstorms later on Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday. But the main point is the heaviest rain is expected to stay south of central New York and northeast Pennsylvania. So here's the rainfall potential through the weekend. And you'll notice there are two areas of significant rainfall. One is associated with the moisture from the remnants of Bill. And that extends from the mid-Mississippi Valley to the lower Ohio Valley in through southern Pennsylvania and southern New Jersey. And then there's another area of rainfall in the order of three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half across the eastern Great Lakes up through northern New England and a good part of northern and central New York. That rainfall really is associated with moisture that's preceding a frontal system that's going to be dropping into this region over the weekend. So our rainfall in central New York and northeast Pennsylvania is really not anticipated to be much more than an inch or so. Now locally in thunderstorms we certainly can see heavier precipitation. But the good news is the deepest moisture from Bill remains south of the region. So to summarize the flood potential this weekend there's a potential for localized minor flooding in poor drainage areas and the typical flood prone areas that in our region. There's a smaller chance for more significant flash flooding. That's especially true now that the remnants of Bill, most of its moisture will remain south of the region. And we expect Cayuga Lake and the Seneca River to remain steady through the weekend. This will be the last briefing on this situation unless conditions change, but we urge everyone to keep informed of the latest forecast watches and warnings. There are many ways to receive this information. We have a Facebook page. We have a Twitter page. We have an internet page. NOAA Weather Radio continues to be an excellent source of information or your favorite media outlet. All these outlets are great ways to receive weather information. And we also ask you to check out these flood safety tips at www.nws.noaa.gov forward slant flood safety. And for more information, you can also check out these web addresses as well. <laughs>